Hey everyone, it's me, Nina Contento, to tell you that this week we have a ton of cool stuff going on during South Jersey Speed. If you're a vintage motorcycle fan looking for the latest on big black modified dirt cars or want to see what racing event 30,000 people came out for, then you won't want to miss this. Education is the seed to growing. At Bright Beginnings Academy, that seed is provided and sowed with care by professionals. With degree teachers, a secure building and playground, and curriculum-based learning, Bright Beginnings Academy provides an environment designed for excelled learning and activity for every growing child. With locations in Cherry Hill and Sewell, accessibility is close to you. Visit bbanj.net to schedule a tour of our facilities, learn about our classes, and find out about our summer camps. Bright Beginnings Academy is not only the right start, but a bright start. We're here at ACO Dragway for the Pan American Nationals, Puerto Rico versus USA, and I have to say, this crowd is bigger than anything I've seen so far. Just check it out for yourself. This is ACO's 23rd year hosting the Pan American Nationals. Out of 22 years, Team USA has only won five times, three in the last five years. I have to give ACO a lot of credit. They not only flew Team Puerto Rico out here, but they also shipped their cars, put them up in the hotels, and got them rental cars. I heard that the number that they may have spent just to get Team Puerto Rico over here is well over $100,000. All I have to say is, wow. Seriously, check out this crowd. There is nothing like it. I honestly can't put it into words, so I'm just gonna keep showing you the love that they have for the Pan American Nationals. The races, the cars, the environment, just good vibes and everything. Just you get you get to be with people that you haven't seen in a while, so it's it's a good time, always. Happy Sunday, Happy fun day. Yeah. Plain tradition, we love it. Puerto Rico versus USA, all day. I'm just for the cars, I love the cars and I love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico and United States, we are only one. Years and years. What's the love about this? I mean, friends uh, coming together, having fun, uh, respecting each other, obedience, discipline, and the allegory of being here together and seeing those beautiful vehicles in here are people like you. you haven't seen any cars yet. There are multiple different races going on all day, but right now we have round one of eliminations for the main event, Puerto Rico versus USA team cars. Now in order to qualify as a Team USA car, the vehicle must be in the state six months prior to the race. Believe it or not, most of Team USA is actually from Puerto Rico.
it's like this almost everywhere we go. We're literally on the track. This is the most up close and personal I've been with vehicles that fly and, well, pretty much fly. They don't really get off the ground. All four wheels, because the first two do get off the ground, which is still pretty cool. But yeah, like, you'll never get much closer than this. in 10 hours of racing today we're down to the final race but guess what we already know which team wins team usa managed to knock out all of team puerto rico we have two usa cars in this race and we have a winner who will be taking home the ten thousand dollar check Papito Dio, God. the God, the God, Only first God, second, uh, my family, and third, uh, my, my equip crew, uh, the crew. Marcacci Meats, the area's best butcher shop, has moved to the corner of Oak and Delcy. You'll find the best cuts of the freshest quality meat, all cut to order by our butcher to ensure that you are bringing home the best meat for your table. In the new Marcacci Meats, you will now find produce, subs, sandwiches, and a full deli line. Like us on Facebook to learn about our weekly specials. Experience the difference when shopping at Marcacci Meats on the corner of Oak and Delcy. Between my husband and my two kids, we spend a lot of time at Atlantic Care Urgent Care Centers. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Happy Saturday, Mrs. Johnson. Let's just say Atlantic Care Urgent Care Centers know us pretty well. Be right back. They're the ones I know I can trust. Board certified providers, on-site medication dispensing, most insurances accepted, no appointments needed. It works out for us and look at, just look at Eugene. He has a quality of life. He's a different person. He is. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I would have never thought Margaret would have qualified. And and the whole she did, and it's been very, very helpful for her. It made the family much better off, too. East Coast roofing and siding, protecting what you love and own. East Coast roofing and siding, trust us with your family and home. Hi, I'm Larry Styler, owner of East Coast Roofing Society. For over 35 years, we've strived to bring excellence to your home in the work that we do. Whether it be roofing, siding, windows, or solar, you can trust us with your family and home. Trust us with your family and home. You own a small to mid-sized business and want to market your company. But how do you break out of the shadow of the big box stores? That's where ClearBridge Media Consulting comes in. ClearBridge provides the necessary tools and resources to interact and engage your customers and specializes in finding the perfect formula for you to succeed. ClearBridge bridges the gap between your business goals and the resources required to succeed in today's digital world. Call or visit ClearBridge Media Consulting online today for your free brand audit. Hi, Comfort Bob. You know, whenever we have a system in an attic, we always have a chance of a water leak. Now that could be a heater or an air conditioner. When we have a water leak, it can cause very severe problems. Now this unit has a pan underneath it that was going to capture the water. It didn't. The water got out beyond the pan here. It went on to the deck. It can go down to the carpet, furnishings below, damage the ceiling. There's all sorts of consequences. Besides a pan under a unit, it should have an overflow switch. So if the water gets too deep, it shuts off. That way you avoid having the water overflowing. This is very deteriorated, there's rust in the pan, this unit really has to be replaced. 
If you have a unit in the attic, make sure you have it checked. Give us a call. We can look for signs of water and keep you out of trouble because you deserve comfort now. Comfort now by Bob McAllister because you deserve comfort now. Jersey Motorsports Park for their Vintage Motorcycle Festival. We've got racing, we've got a vintage motorcycle bike competition, which all these bikes behind me will be judged later on today to see who has the coolest vintage bike. This whole weekend is jam-packed with cool events, so it's something you're definitely going to want to check out. The New Jersey Motorsports Park and ARMA have come together for this huge racing festival. ARMA stands for American Historic Road Racing Motorcycle Association. But what exactly is it? I'm sitting down with Tony, one of the ARMA referees, to find out. ARMA is a is an organization, it's a member-owned organization. And obviously by what we have in the paddock here, they love old motorcycles. They love motorcycles. Old ones, new ones, doesn't matter. Racing is a huge part of this event, but the festival side makes it an event for all ages. walks of life. What, what makes it so cool that all these people come together to uh, support something like Karma? Because they have common interest. Forget the backgrounds that the people walk in here from. They have a common interest and it's two wheels. The very early ones to the very new ones. It's still two wheels. Loving the motorcycles, we get kind of the young guys, we get the older guys. The young guys come in, they see the old motorcycles and they go, I've never seen that before. We get the young guys that come in with the new motorcycles and the old guys go, I haven't seen that before. So it, it kind of works both ways. So you're learning from each other. Oh, absolutely. And I learned a few things too, like how much of a team effort these sidecars are. Check it out.
glad we covered some of the racing. I'm headed for the guy that knows the festival side best, Maurice. This is the fifth annual event here at New Jersey Motorsports Park. And the park asked my company, La Rock Motorsports, to come up and be the event promoter and bring a festival side to the Arma Vintage Racing. So the Arma's been doing the racing here for five years and they promote racing on the vintage motorcycles. And they have a circuit that goes around the states. And they're trying to bring the festival side, which brings a public awareness to how cool and exciting these bikes are. So we're trying to get people to pull them out of their garage, get them from their grandparents and get them out and pretty them up, ride them and race them. A lot of people have some great things to say about this event and motorcycle racing. My name is Jeff, I'm from the stunt show called Hell on Wheels. It's our first time here at the uh, Vintage Motorcycle Festival and it is awesome. There's people here from all over the country. But one story really stands out. Husband and wife duo Alex and Cindy share this experience together off the track and on it. My name is Cindy McLean and I race a 1975 Honda CB404. And I race it in production historic a lightweight novice class. The fun thing about what we do is we do it together and there's not a whole lot of husband and wife teams that are racing out there. In 2013 I traveled with them across the country to Utah and to Michigan and Wisconsin and uh, on our way back across the country at the end of the year he suggested that maybe I'd want to go racing. It's just everything about them. The colors, the, the architecture of these motorcycles, they don't make them like this anymore. As you can see, these motorcycle enthusiasts are very passionate about their sport. If you want to see more, you'll have to head to NJMP for an ARMA event and see it all for yourself. Seabrook House has been helping families find the courage to recover from alcoholism, drug addiction, and other compulsive mental disorders for over 42 years. Our programs include the Family Matrix program that allows families to heal and begin to strengthen the family bond strained by addiction, inpatient rehabilitation, extended care, and outpatient treatments. If you or a loved one is suffering from addiction, please call or visit us online today. Seabrook House, helping families find the courage to recover. Inspira announces our latest medical breakthrough. It's called The Phone. Our new app lets you see an urgent care doctor faster. Find the closest center with the shortest wait. You can even check in online. Get text updates and wait from the comfort of home. Inspira Urgent Care. Get the app. What happens when an entire organization builds for the future? Dreams are achieved. Terrasol Energies helps organizations reduce energy costs and increase sustainability with innovative solar power systems. Integrating revolutionary components from SunPower's Helix system, this SunPower commercial dealer provides simply the best. Transform your business with the world's first fully integrated commercial solar solution. At SJ Today, we don't just like South Jersey, we love it. We go out every day to find the stories that matter to you and your community and share them on our nightly newscast at 7 and 11 p.m. on Channel 4. Did you know that you can get all the great South Jersey stories in your news feed? Like us on Facebook to see all the news, sports, and weather that affects you. You like South Jersey, we love South Jersey. Like us today on Facebook to keep informed with South Jersey's news. SNJ Today, we are for South Jersey. Are we a community bank? Yes. Do we provide the best in personal and community service? Of course. Do we offer the convenience of online banking, competitive rates and convenient hours? Absolutely. But Franklin Bank is more than that, much more. Franklin Bank is also focused on lending, on getting businesses and families going. Come in today and let us show you how we can help. Home, auto, business. Franklin Bank. Build your future with us. Avoid the hassles of oil and propane deliveries in large tanks. It's easy to convert to environmentally friendly natural gas. It's efficient, reliable, clean, and convenient. The least expensive of all heating fuels and is produced in North America. A natural gas heating system typically lasts five years longer than an oil furnace. For heating, hot water, cooking, clothes drying, even for outdoor grilling, pool heating, and fireplaces, there's no better option than natural gas. Call 1-800-822-WARM or visit SouthJerseyGas.com.
Trust the experts at Dondero Diamonds and Fine Jewelry to help you make a decision that lasts a lifetime. So we're here tonight at Bridgeport Speedway for First Responders Night, sponsored by Spirit, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. It's going to be really cool because the ambulance, fire trucks, and police cars are going to get to go out on the dirt track. They're not going to be racing, but it's still really great. We're also getting an exclusive interview from a driver who is on a winning streak. seven races so far this year, four here at Bridgeport, uh, a couple, you know, two down in Delaware and one up in Pennsylvania. So that's, you know, I'm from up in Pennsylvania, but, you know, travel to Bridgeport every week. Now, what can you really uh, dedicate those wins to? Or what can you say that the reason behind it was? Uh, well, we've been a little bit different with our car, you know, with suspension a little bit different. We've been messing around with for about a year and a half now. Um, something another guy down here was doing at the beginning of the year last year, and we saw it and thought it was something that, you know, it had, had some advantages to it. So we've been messing around with that. But, uh, you know, the crew that, that I have, they've been, we don't have many, many breakdowns, you know, so the car pretty much makes it to the end of most races without any part failures or anything like that because the crew is so good at, you know, doing the maintenance on the car. So, I mean, that helps you too. you got to be there at the end. What's your goal for tonight? Well, the goal for tonight, every night that we go out is to win. I mean, that's, you know, last Saturday when we were here, we were able to pick up the win. So uh, hopefully we can do the same thing tonight again. Do you have any idea of what route you're going to take to be able to get that win? You have no idea what the track's going to be like until we get out there, you know. Some nights uh, the track starts out, it's real fast around the bottom, but other nights it, uh, you know, the track widens up and it tops a fast way or the middle. You just, uh, you know, you really don't know until the race goes on to see what you're going to have. Awesome. Now tell me a little bit about your car. Uh, well, the car we have here tonight is a Troyer with a, a big block Chevy engine in it. Um, around 800 horsepower is what they put out. Um, they, you know, here at Bridgeport we go, you know, somewhere 120, 130 mile an hour in a straightaway, so we're getting around here pretty fast. All right, so we're going to let you go right now because I know you have to get out there, but we're going to follow up with you a little bit later, all right? All right, sounds good. Awesome. We asked Ryan to take our GoPro out with him during this heat, hoping it would survive despite us hearing that Bridgeport's track is a GoPro graveyard and it might not be able to handle Ryan's driving. They took off, it was eyes to the sky.
Ryan started out sixth and ended up in first of his team. Now it's time for some much needed recognition for the men and women who look out for us every day. The first responders make their way out onto the track for a few laps. Now the big blocks are back out to take on their feature and we're hoping Ryan can come out with another win. Throughout this feature, three cautions went out, which is actually a good thing for those who aren't in the lead. But even with those opportunities, Ryan couldn't come out with the results that he was hoping for. You know, when restarts, anything can happen, something can happen in front of you where somebody gets out of shape a little bit, you can pick up some spots. Um, so always, you know, it's nice when you get a long stretch like that to have a restart. Plus, you know, under, under a caution, the tires will pull down and everything, and sometimes your car is a little better on restart. What do you wish you could have done differently? I don't know, the car, uh, you know, just needs to be a little freer. It was a little too tight early in the race, so. A couple little changes, nothing major, but uh, you know, it's just you never know. The track's not always the same. So, no, last week the thing was really good. This week we're up just a little bit. <laughs> 